In this video, we're going to take you through the decision-making process for designing your own personalized van interior. So you've committed to the open road and adventuring afar in your vehicle of choice. Now it's time to build your own adventure vehicle. Whether you are a seasoned pro or just hitting the road for your first season, Trail Kitchens can get you set up for your next adventure. All your outdoor adventures terminate in camp, so we strive to make the cooking, cleaning, and recharging as simple and organized as possible. So let's get started. Trail Kitchen's modular units are designed for the following full-size van models. We also have a separate kitchen units for minivans not covered here, but refer to our website for more info. For our example build, we used a Mercedes 144 Sprinter. So there are four questions we need to answer to get going. Question number one, seating. This is probably the most consequential decision on the layout of your van. Who is typically going to be traveling in the van? Do you need forward-facing seats or car seats for children? How many people need to be seated in forward-facing seats in three-point seat belts? One to two people, three or more? Do you want to include a lounge area in addition to the forward-facing seats? Question number two. How many people will be sleeping inside the van? How tall are the occupants? This will help determine the orientation and the size of the bed or beds. Sleeping east-west or sideways in the van will allow for the most space-efficient layout. Tall people can utilize body flares to gain extra width in the van for sleeping sideways if necessary. Question number three. What is the typical use you anticipate for the van? Do you use this as a family van daily in addition to weekend camping? Is this van dedicated for your weekend adventures? Do you plan on taking long road trips for two weeks or more? Or full-time van living? The answers here will help determine the system requirements for the van. There are three systems we need to determine. Water capacity, heating and cooling needs, and power requirements, which include AC and DC needs along with battery storage capacity. And finally, Question number four, where and when will you be using the van? Summer camping only or year-round van living? Extreme climates, hot or cold, desert or tundra? Will you be consistently camping at high altitude or in areas with high humidity? Answers to what the typical location, climate, and where the van will be used will help sort out the type of climate control power needs, and water capacity that will influence the finished materials used. Taking the time to plan here will save you time, money, and discomfort on the road. Since trail kitchens are modular and self-contained, good planning now can make modifications later simple and easy. Whatever your adventure, we have your needs covered now and in the future on whatever path you choose down the road.